Hey guys, it's Stephanie and I have a bit of a book haul for you today. So I will split it up and show you first of all the books that have been sent to me and the books that I have recently purchased. So let's get to it. Uh, these are basically all horror or at least horror adjacent. Well, as with every book haul, I'm really excited to get to a lot of these. So the first book that was sent to me was sent to me by the author. This is Slasher Crasher by David Nora. This is a slasher horror comedy. So this takes place on Halloween and is about a guy named Nick who is in a mental hospital because many years ago he murdered his babysitter's boyfriend and he comes and he finds himself on Halloween in the middle of a fight between two best friends and the girls fight is very vicious and they begin to pin Nick against each other and things get bloody and violent. I haven't even started this, but this sounds like it could be very gory and very fun. It definitely seems like, you know, Nick was inspired by Michael Myers in Halloween. I think he might have a little more of a personality than Michael Myers in Halloween, but it sounds promising. So this is Slasher Crasher by Dave Nora. I got a short story collection that was sent to me by the author. This is Beasts, 16 More Weird Stories by Brendan Detzner. First of all, that cover I'm trying not to get a glare on it. It's very trippy and I like it. I'll read you the back because it's what intrigued me. So some of the stories are, a nurse gives a tow truck driver her number while the spirits watch attentively. Sasquatch and Chupacabra clash across universes. A skeleton billionaire throws his annual Halloween party. A woman kisses her husband goodnight and locks him in the basement and 12 more. So yeah, those short synopses were what intrigued me to <laughs> read and review this. So I'm really interested to get to this. It also seems pretty short, so very doable, not super overwhelming. Yeah, it looks like it's not scared to get weird. So let's get weird with it. And a big book that was sent to me uh, by Live Right Publishing is the new annotated H.P. Lovecraft. Um, I for being a horror fan, have not read any H.P. Lovecraft, and I've been hesitant to do so, honestly, because of his reputation as a racist and how a lot of his stories have racism in them or are symbolic for being racist and not liking the other. You can't dismiss his influence in horror, and I do love a lot of modern cosmic horror, and a lot of it references H.P. Lovecraft, and I obviously never understand what those references are. So he is someone that I have wanted to read just because of what he has done for horror. And what I like about this is that Victor Laval, who wrote The Changeling and The Devil in Silver, but also The Ballad of Black Tom, which is a novella that's a retelling of a Lovecraft story, wrote the introduction to this. And his retelling of the Lovecraft story reframes it from the point of view of a black man. And I feel like there's a lot of work out now that challenges Lovecraft's views. Like one of my favorite books, Lovecraft Country. And these annotations are by Leslie S. Klinger and oh, I love this cover. So these are, this is Beyond Arkham. So these are his short stories that take place in Arkham. I know he has done another annotated uh, collection of his work, but these are the Arkham stories. So these are 25 stories, including the newly considered The Horror at Red Hook, which is the story that Victor Laval retold. So I will get back to you on how I do with this giant thing, but I'm really excited to get to it and to give it a try. It seems like Leslie S. Klinger and everyone is fully aware of the negative connotations of Lovecraft and don't seem scared to call it out when it's there, which is very good. It's, this doesn't seem like an overly romanticized thing. So now the books that I bought. I picked up a book that I feel like I've been wanting to get to for forever and seems like the definitive work on like dark fairy tales and that is The Bloody Chamber by Angela Carter. I also love this edition. It's a penguin book. It's gorgeous. Every time I've kind of ventured into a fairy tales and especially their adjacency, their relationship to horror. This is a book that always comes up. It's always like number one when you want to look at any type of like fairy tale horror. So I figured I had to check it out. I actually don't know a lot about like which fairy tales she is working with or reworking. I'm assuming The Bloody Chamber is Rapunzel, but again, not 100% sure. And I'm okay going into this totally blind. So let me know. So this is The Bloody Chamber by Angela Carter. 
and a book that I pre-ordered that was one of my most anticipated releases of 2019 was Paul Tremblay's Growing Things and Other Stories. I am three stories into this and I am enjoying it so far. I am thinking about doing a full book review a full like standalone book review of this book when I am done so hopefully I will get back to you on my full thoughts over the whole collection. And lastly three books that I bought because Flame Tree Press was having a July 4th sale and they had a lot of titles that were four dollars with free shipping so I bought three books that I'm very excited about. The first one is The Haunting of Henderson Close by Catherine Cavendish and I will read the back. In 1891 Edinburgh's Henderson Close is a seething mass of crime. Miss Carmichael takes food and clothing to families living in the slums in Old Town and falls victim to a gang of vicious thugs who beat her to death. Gang member Donald Bain escapes and is possessed by the entity the locals call Ald Dale. In the present day, Henderson Close is a major tourist attraction. Tour guide Hannah and George lead their visitors along its eerie twists and turns. But when renovations begin to extend the location, the Ald Dale is released from its devil's trap. One of the guides goes missing, and Hannah and George soon discover this is no simple disappearance. Evil is all around them, and the key to its unraveling lies with Miss Carmichael's killer. Yeah, haunted tour guide, ancient spirits coming back, Scotland. Let's do it. I also, of course, picked up a Jonathan Chan's book because I had to. Uh, this is a horror western, um, in case you couldn't tell by like the obvious artwork. Uh, this is Dust Devils. When traveling actors recruited his wife for a plum roll, Cody Wilson had no idea they would murder her. 12-year-old Willet Black was just as devastated the night the actors, known as the Dust Devils, slaughtered everyone he loved. Now Cody and Willet are bent on revenge, but neither of them suspect what they're really up against. The dust devils are older than the deserts and mountains over which they ride. Feeding on young and old alike, their thirst for human blood is insatiable. But it is 1885 in the wilds of New Mexico, and there is no help for Cody and Willet. The unlikely pair must make a stand and face an unfathomable evil. They must battle the dust devils and win or die trying. Listen, I am always here for vampire western and especially vampire western revenge story and one written by Jonathan Jans. So I am here for this. I will definitely let you know what I think about this one. And the last book I picked up was The Devil's Equinox by Jonathan Everson. Austin wishes his wife would drop dead. He even says so one boozy night at the bar to a sultry stranger with a mysterious tattoo. When his wife later introduces that stranger as Regina, their new neighbor, Austin hopes she will be a good influence on his wife. Instead, one night he comes home to find his wife dead. Soon he's entranced with Regina, who steps in and helps him care for his baby, Saley. She introduces him to a darker world than he ever imagined, a world of bloodletting and erotic magic. This intoxicating new life of excitement puts everything he loves in peril as Regina becomes obsessed with a dark ritual. Can Austin save Saley and himself before the planets align for the Devil's Equinox? This just seems like very, very high stakes. Again, I will let you know what I think of this when I am done with it. So yes, uh, those were the books that I have picked up recently. As always, let me know if you see any favorites on here, if you have any thoughts on anything you would like me to read on anything that interests you on here, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!